Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to talk about how I've been using my journal slash planner for the last couple of days. Um, so I've been doing this, this is just my sort of post-it dashboards. I've been doing this uh, since the 1st of August um, and we're nearing the end of the month and this is my calendar page for those of you who have, haven't seen my setup before. And I want to say something about the calendar and about my dailies that look like this and by now they look like this. Um, I don't do pretty planning because I have too much going on and too many things that change so I can't really, you know, if I put something pretty on the planner well, for one, I can't have stickers anywhere because there isn't room. Like, some days look like this. <laughs> um, the same on my uh, weeklies. My days look like this. I mean, where would I put the stickers? And they're distracting to me, so I don't do that. I leave the pretty stuff for my journaling insert, which we'll come to in a minute. Um, I... I do use color coding to keep everything to keep things apart. Everything that's purple is for home and for work I have different colors for different projects. And I also have this uh, yellow highlighter that I use for things that are time sensitive so that I know, I mean there are several things I need to do this day but some of them are actually um, scheduled to happen at a specific time so then I can see at a glance if if I have anything um, time sensitive during a day if I have to be somewhere or if there are just deadlines and tasks so yeah and another thing my weekly boxes that where I put like big deadlines and things I need to be able to see from my weeklies for work and home I have now started colouring them in when the week is done because that makes it easier to see where I'm at in the month. And my weeklies, I have um, <laughs> started doodling on them. I'm not at all happy about this, mainly because I'm quite happy with this. It's not finished by a long shot, but I do like that it's a splash page, like a big image that covers both pages. This feels cramped in comparison, um, which, I mean, this would be fine if I just paint this page and put a memory per day, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that anymore. Um, yeah, I haven't decided. So I'm still doodling. It's early days. I use just a ballpoint pen or a gel pen or something and doodle something, and then I fill it in with Derwent Inktense pencils. Uh, like here I've just started sketching this weird thing so probably before I'm done with all this it will be covered in acrylics maybe um, and it'll probably look quite different from now so this is the current week I actually did two dailies like daily lists of tasks for Wednesday and, and I put Tuesday, but it was Thursday. It's the Thursday color green. Um, because I was feeling so insecure. Sometimes I just don't feel safe with my task lists that I've got over here. Getting things done, next action context. Sometimes I just need to know, well, what do I need to do today? Or what do I want to do today? So I did that for Wednesday and Thursday. And as you can see here as well, I had some... Uh, time sensitive meetings and stuff quite a lot actually uh, that I've um, marked in yellow and yeah and I mark things that are either not certain or things I just need to be aware of but don't need to do I put that in pencil so that it's there but it's not taking my full attention as it were and this week I've also put these little lines 
which signify how much cleaning I've done that day. I do have a specific spread for that. This is my cleaning spread. I put all the rooms in our house and I, I do five minute sessions. And for each five minutes, I put a little line. And on this spread, I've started doing it in gold because gold is the, the color of August for me. So I'll change to dark red when it's September. Uh, so to begin with, I put the lines in the my the day color. I have colors for everything, <laughs> including cleaning, which is pink. Um, but that didn't really work. So I think it's better to put the monthly color so I can see how much cleaning did I do in August, in September, in October and so on. Yeah, so what else? I had a couple of things that were not time not date specific, but week specific. So I put it on this page. This right hand page is different every week. Sometimes I do the dailies and things I need to do during the week. Sometimes it's a brain dump. Uh, it can be anything really. Here's a packing list or something. Um, so anything I need it for really and it's perfect to have just an empty page and not these little boxes where you have to write your to-dos and your glasses of water or wine or whatever you're tracking <laughs> I'm being uh, rude but for me it just I, I appreciate the freedom so much of not having little boxes to cram everything into just a blank page like uh, next week looks like this just the grid here for the days and an empty page but you do you always um, my tracker I have my sort of health stuff to the left my exercising and well loads of different things I've been really good this week look at this this is my cycling um, almost every day I've done it, not Tuesday. And my walks and my uh, knee and back exercises and yeah. And on this side I have my cleaning, so I track when I wash the dishes, when I hoover or dust, when I do wet wipe anywhere, you know, uh, when I do laundry, when I pick things up and put them away, when I do when I go with my recycling uh, to the recycling station and a couple of other things um, and here in the final column I sum I sum up how many five minute sessions I did during a day and I put here how much it was um, in total so it can be five minutes it can be 15 minutes it can be an hour or an hour 45 minutes but you know it doesn't have to be the same every day and it's nice to see it adding up here right so this is next month lots of things to do apparently but I don't need to think about that now it's Friday <coughs> and I will soon go to the cabin with my husband uh, these are my work project pages, so I've, I've been brainstorming a lot about this project. Um, some of them haven't really started it yet, so they're kind of empty. Um, yeah, that's them. These are my next action contexts. Oh, I should say just uh, these tabs. This is the tab for today. This is a tab for my work projects that each have their own tab and this is the next action for work tab so i've done administration <coughs> excuse me uh and some this is the contact list the rest of the contacts haven't really got going yet because you know it's early days at work so they're empty so far this is the tab for home next actions and I have creative planner stuff. I have my husband, other people, print, uh, the attic, the cellar, the, uh, well, upstairs and downstairs. And online, uh, the village where I live, 
waiting for and town the town you know bigger town <laughs> the village of the town uh, for errands I have uh, saved two spreads for planning for next year like for the next six months of work because I know I will need those pages before February when I switch books this is for a project I won't show you <laughs> This tab is for home projects and random scribbles. So these tabs are for my home projects and I haven't added anything since I've been talking about this last time. It's all the same. So that's it for the front book in my setup. My morning pages, I have been writing which day, when did we leave off? I think it was here perhaps. So I've been journaling in the mornings about mainly about planning, planners and planning and journals. Uh, yeah, I do a lot of thinking about planning in the mornings. I write about what I dreamt, um, about you know whether I'm tired, what the weather is like. Um, Not much to say about that. Um, my journaling, like uh, memory journaling, pretty journaling, is in this insert. And these pages aren't done. I need to make, because I want to do these numbers pretty, like I did with these, with the, like the flowers and stars and stuff inside. But I haven't, I've only done the outline of them. Um, so I wasn't very inspired when I did these. But I put a few you know, notes about what happened those days. I still haven't put in the pictures from the concert we, were, we went to. But I have left these two pages for that. It's just I don't get to printing. It's, printing is such a hassle, so it takes a while. Plus I have to upload, uh, it's a whole thing. Um, yeah, I, what do I want to say about this? Well, I started out August uh, with like, I printed pictures, I made these beautiful um, numbers and I don't know, it was, I like those pages, but, but I can't do this all the time so some days I just want to like write like regular regular journaling like in my morning pages where I just write sentences just ordinary prose um, so that's just to say that you don't have to do the same thing every day um, like in June let's see I have my June book over here I did all the, all the days look the same. Where are they? I had like one page per day and yeah, like this with borders and I wrote the same things every day with the weather and what we ate and so on. Uh, but I didn't want to do this anymore. I wanted, I mean, I want to do whatever I want to do every day. <laughs> So that's why this looks different and I didn't want to do the pretty numbers anymore. I didn't write anything yesterday. So, I mean, I, I don't have to. I might want to. The thing is, I'd like to have something to look back on, like just a memory. It just has to be one page, you know, just put 25 and I did this and this and this. It doesn't have to be that advanced all the time, even though I do love my advanced, like, embellished pages. Um, I did embellish um, the rest of the insert a little bit, uh, not all of it. Uh, oh, maybe it was just, <laughs> it was just this spread, okay. But I did a lot of other things. I, I have a flowish journal 
with papers that's go that are going into new journals. So I've been busy putting trims and stuff on those pages. So it feels like I've journaled a lot, even though I've only prepared for future journaling. Oops. Ah! I turned the page too quickly, so the, the glue isn't dry. Oh well. So, uh, what else? Uh, well, I put back, I removed my dinner insert because this setup is so thick and so heavy that I thought, you know, this can be on the dinner table and I can fill it in there. Thing is, I don't do it. If it's not in my journal setup, I don't do it. So I put it back. Uh, so now I have three inserts in the middle here. I have a front book, I have a back book and three inserts on elastics. And it's a lot, I know, but I mostly work from home and you know, I, I don't know. Even when I lug it around on a train, it's worth it <laughs> somehow. I haven't been using my Someday Maybe uh, book, the back book, because, well, I haven't planned that far ahead, but um, it's there when I need it. And that's it for today.